All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and sorry I'm late. Torts, good afternoon to you as well. Let me go over here and check out it real quick. I was um, having some words with Pookie. Everything's fine. We're, we're friends again. Um, all right, let's um, make sure audio's coming through okay. Yeah, that sounds awesome. All right, let's uh, let's go to game. We're gonna play some Station Years today. You know, I had yes yesterday. I had said I was gonna play some Factorio, but I wanted to try out something. And I didn't want to wait a week. <laughs> you know, so we're gonna play some Station Years. Ben should be safe. Did I not double click? I guess not. All right. And uh, I had to reboot my computer twice for some reason. It was annoyed. <sighs> All right, so should be fourteen. There it is. That out of the way. <clears throat> Seven thousand things. Wow. So um, I did do some some mining error. Couldn't update game session. Oh, that's weird. Uh, I went and got a bunch of iron because I need to make a bunch of steel because I used a lot of steel. Hey, there's Ben. Hey, Ben. Um, and um, yeah, I need to get my backpack on. Um, well, that's weird. I can't. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, we got new hard suit jetpacks now. They're so cool. Look, look at that. Ooh. Styling. Oh, I'm upside down. All right. Hang on. We got to prevent mouse float. All right. Um, <clears throat> When we start the power center, we're going to be using a lot of nitrogen. So I want to make sure we've got a lot of ni nitrogen. <laughs> I, I I was upside down. That's true. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to do almost the same thing I was doing yesterday, but we're going to do it much faster, I think. Um, so down there, I'm not going to do any work today. That's the power center that we're going to be working on. I'm going to extend this platform out this way. Um, I'm going to try to do it much, much faster. And then what I want to do is get two of these connected because I'm pretty sure I heard someone say that if you have two or three of these connected to the, um, combustion version, you get a lot of resources. So if I, if we can get resources and put some sorting in place, I don't have to go out and do any mining anymore. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so let's um, get our bearings here, figure out what we got to do. Um, so we, we mixed new gas, fresh gas. So we should have plenty of fuel. Yes, we do. All right, so we're gonna smelt some, uh, we're gonna smelt a lot of steel. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep it simple. So we're gonna need um, five, Five. Okay, so we're going to store these. Oh, oh, this is all the iron. All right, so hang on. Move that. Move that. Um, I need to make another auto lathe for up here. Um, so then I need, okay, there's one. I'm, I'm setting up my, uh, my ingredients here. It takes forever. All right, so 
looking for that's set to 250 that won't work so let's decrease 100 perfect all right that in there that one there all right so let's fire the furnace up um seems pretty good need 200 coal she had plenty of coal well actually i haven't found any i haven't been looking for coal but yeah we got lots of coal so put that there that there sweet all right gas Did that get turned off by chance oh it is it needs to be turned on there we go all right close enough let's put a stop on that uh, wrong side fire that up get another it's all iron get that going do, 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 do. all right so i'm gonna make a ton of steel oh geez hang on be right back i don't want to make a ton of auto lathes though oh there's one i don't need another one actually Maybe I will make another one. I got another one down in the power center. We can always recycle it. Yeah. All right, I'm doing way too much. I'm, gonna, I'm stuck. So. Oh. Uh, is getting cold. Is that the last chunk? Yay. Okay, there's our steel. All right. That's not hot enough to do another batch. So we're going to uh, vent all that. There we go. Oh, no. Stop. And Ben's probably going to holler at me. Why do we have so many auto lathes? I, I don't know. Oh, wait. We actually have a whole stack of stackers somehow. So yeah, I think they're down here. Need two. Oh, nitrates. Oh, okay, cool. 
All right, so stacker. Go. Stacker. There we go. Um. Okay, so that's all we got there. So let's go ahead and find some iron sheets. Excellent. Welder out. We need some cables. That, oh. We need um, plastic sheets. Hey, Federation, how you doing? We have no plastic sheets. Let's see, let's make some. Oh, I got stuck. Sheets, plastic. Oh, I'm doing great. Just starting my day. Just getting it going. We're going to do some massive steel output. We're uh, smelting a lot of iron. A lot of iron. Make sure. Okay, that's almost drained all the way. We got another batch ready here. Technically, I could actually do. Hang on. That's one hundred count. Like I said, we need a lot of steel. All right, let's go ahead and stop this. So I have a few auto lathes <laughs> that, um, so now we need the screwdriver. Is that? All right. Oh, then I gotta make the mods for them, or do I? I don't know. I don't need the mods for them. We want to type in. So we're gonna make um, frames. Frames. Seriously. It's weird. Need another 200 of this. Oh, that's only 37. There you go. All right. I'm going to do another batch. So the furnace should be empty by now. There is. Let's turn that off. Over here and turn that on. Okay. up a little bit we're gonna do one more batch after this Get fuel to get to where it needs to be We could have some fun in here. As soon as all this iron is done, we can put the nitrogen through there and see if we can blow out a window. That would be fun. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I got to, this is the input, no, that's the output. Where's the input? Input's here. All right. So what I'm gonna do is put our, our drills this away and bring the chutes up and over and into this. This is our output that will just Figure something out. 
the output would need would need to be sorted. Hmm. Sorted, stacked. Oh, it doesn't have to be stacked. We can we'll, we'll do all the fancy stuff later. Alright, see how our fuel is. Feels good. Oh, excuse me. That off. That up. Let's go get uh, 200 more coal. Like I said, massive iron, so we can make massive frames, massive sheets for big platform topside for um, these. Which actually doesn't need a platform, but you know what I mean. Uh, oh, let's get this wired. into a machine. Whoa. Very, very warm. I'm very thirsty. Hey, look at that, just in time. Close that off, let's drain that. That. Oh, no, no. Steel, steel. All right, start cranking out some frames. And I know I got a drink, not too worried about it. We have one more batch of iron. Let's go get one more batch of coal. Oh, there. gases that's good all right um we're just waiting for the that to drain uh we got that going we got everything else we need for another batch of steel so let me go in and take care of some stuff here oh i locked ben in there sorry ben there we go All right, a little water, a little tomato soup, Put that back on. So this is where we experimented with learning how to do the new farming. And uh, then took what we learned here and put it over in a new building, which is kind of automated. We have tomatoes, oh geez, okay, hang on. Hang on. Whoa. How come? Oh, I forgot to turn that on. Oh, that was a serious mistake on my part. Oh, 
almost had a had a dilemma there almost all right we're good fine all right let's go check furnace Uh, that's zeroed. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put another fuel in there. Just load it up. Another batch of steel. Sweet. All right. Um, <sighs> um all right so let's stop that kick those out stop now oh, all right that 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 all right and let's start doing some sheets Run over and check fuel. I got lost for a second. Feels good. Turn this off. Fire that up. Actually, looks like we're done with the iron. So what I want to do, <laughs> all right, let's wait until the steel is done. Is this one empty? Okay, that one's empty. And this is the nitrogen ice that I could find when I was out doing iron. Hunting with a hunting, mining, hunting, mining with a, um, a backpack is so cool. But then nine out of 10 times I dig myself into a hole and since I don't have my, when I'm doing a backpack, I don't have my jet backpack. So I uh, have to dig myself out of a hole. So it takes a little time, but come back with a lot of resources. All right. Um, so the sun just went down. I'm going to check the solar panels. It's kind of my indication of where the sun is. Yeah. All right. I'm going to wait till this is done, start draining it. And we're going to experiment with putting uh, nitrates in there. We did that last time. And we, we saw a lot of pressure. That was very cool. Instead of melting it in the furnace, uh, I just put it through the arc furnace. It doesn't get that hot and then it it's, you know, it's melted. Oh, we got our steel. All right, pull that out. All right, it's done. And drain that. All right, so now we got some steel. Put in other machines to do what we need to do. Do you know what I mean? So that's our steel. We still have more iron, but I want to go over here and get nitrogen. We're gonna have some fun here. So normally when we're smelting iron and stuff, this never goes above like five. So we're gonna put like four stacks. See what happens. Now, last time I don't think I saw this go above 20. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Because what it's doing is it's heating up the room and melting what was in the uh <laughs> what was in the um it's render. Love this game so much to a uh, to a break from it. Oh, you took a break from it. Been thinking about jumping back in. I stopped playing it from before they added the deep miners and centrifuge. Seems like they added a lot. Changed traders, farming, and added those two things that you just mentioned. Um, I am going to do a uh, station cheat. Can't remember what the max 
pressure for composite windows is. I'll look that up real quick. I think it's 200 kilopascals. Composite windows, 200 kilopascals. All right, so. Still going up. Oh dear. You, okay. Oh, we're still, oh, we're smelting. Oh, okay. Oh dear. All right. <laughs> so that's going down slow. So uh, maybe I will melt the stuff in the furnace. Let's turn this off. Yeah, why not? Do it in the furnace. Oh geez, okay, we're we're done. We're done. Done. I forgot. I got distracted by a dangerous experiment. Happens. That's empty, and then this is a full. So that was from four. So let's do four again. Should be safe enough. Still melting. So this can't go above 55. That's the danger. 60 is when it blows up. These can go up to 200. Doing fine. Okay, we'll go ahead and vent this down to 20 ish. enough all right so this be it now all the automation should be wow okay that should boom all right good the nitrogen should oh all right Oh, that's because it came from the furnace. Right, right, right. Okay. <sighs> so we'll vent this. That's done. It's venting. All right. Now we'll just let the system do what it needs to do, do, do that away. And we're going to uh, load up with uh, stuff. And uh, we'll get some work done. <clears throat> All 
All right, so now um, we are going to um, go to work. We need this. Make sure it's set to flatten. Hey, the sun just came up. Yeah. All right, so before we go crazy on that, let's create another deep miner and see about placement. Just one, because we're going to dismantle that one and use that one too. So deep miner, steel, in okay, sweet, got it. We need a lot of shoots. Which takes iron. Excellent. All right, so let's um. Well, without altering what Ben has got in place here, I think put the miners along here. Start them way out here, though. Give room for, you know, room. That's right. I used words. Oh, it's a, it's kind of deep. Excellent. Let's go see the progress on the miner. Oh, almost done. Ooh. Somebody told me you can use three, three miners, three of these with in, in conjunction with the combustion centrifuge and it keeps up. So let's put this like one, two, three, four, right here. All right, so what do we need to build it? Steel sheets, I have those right here. Then some cables, I have cables also. Two times cable coil. Oh, I thought I had cables in my hand. I did not. There we go. And something's not right. Oh, screwdriver. Okay. There we go. There. All right. Now, um, so this is the output. Hey, Jez, thanks for the document. Oh, the cheat sheet, you're welcome. That's been around ever since, uh, I don't know, not since I started playing, but someone alluded to it. I said, gotta have that. Um, let's um, let's carry on here. Is that a song, carry on? Something like that, I don't know. I don't sing. I get in trouble when I sing. Oh, scary, very scary my drill uh oh uh oh okay um lucky come on dig 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 thank you 
Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, why won't that flatten? That's weird. That's right, I'm a thrill seeker. All right. I don't know if we'll need this room out here, but it's better to set it up now versus having to stop what you're doing, move things around. All right, let's um, that away. That's the third one, right? start making some of this We've, we have fired this up once already. So I'm going to put some shoots off and I'm going to create um, an area for all this stuff to go in. And I'll, I'll let Ben do all the smart sorting and stuff like that because that's how I roll. That sounds right up his alley. Hey, perfect timing. All right. Make it. Go. Then we need the coils. Screwdriver. Excellent. All right. Um. All right. Uh, we're gonna need some more cables. It looks like.
I'm gonna go straight to the transformer here just in case we end up moving that, then we don't have to rewire everything. That's off because... Oh, all right, that's right. That, gotcha. I need, I need more cables. Um, this on or cable. Oops, cable. Why am I in cap? And we do have some copper in there. Sweet. Um, let's go ahead and put frames back. Hey, it's Commander Zorba Dundee, also playing some Stationers. Commander, thank you very much for that raid. Appreciate that very much. How you doing, Commander? How was your adventures in uh, Stationers? And everyone coming over, welcome, welcome. We're uh, we're gonna try something a little something new. We we've experimented with the deep miner. Uh, and the old and the original centrifuge, but now we're uh, just expanding mining and storage. Oh, that's so cool when you when you have the the uh, infrastructure to do more things. Yeah, we just made a whole bunch of steel, uh, smelting a whole bunch. Well, actually, let's get back to smelting the iron. We have a kind of a a two stage smelting process. So we have an automated arc furnaces for normal ore, and then we we have the furnace here for all the other stuff. And then our advanced furnace is over here. This is all just kind of a, a staged setup, not really the base. When we need to get the stuff to do stuff. It's important to have stuff. All right, that's enough stuff. All right, stop, stop. And so to give you all a real quick tour, this was the original hydroponics. That's my cohort, Ben. He's in there doing inventory. Grand Angus, how you doing? This is where I learned the new farming and, you know, made it so I could survive. What is your favorite waffle? Brainski, thank you so much for that follow. I appreciate it. My favorite waffle is, uh, well, I, I like all kinds of waffles as long as they have syrup on them. Um, so as this smelts, we have um, some automation right there on that chip that when we get up to one kilopascal, we turn on the active vents back there. Wait for it. There they go. Um, when we smelt in here, all the, we call it all the waste goes down here, comes from over there, comes into here. And we have a little bit of logic that when we get above five kilopascals, we turn on the turbo pump and under here is just a, a staging area for a bunch of gas. And when we get above three megapascals, then this will open up and uh, send gas to here. When we detect any pressure, we turn on all the filters and we filter. So this is what I call the waste gases because it's coming from various sources. It gets filtered. And then I'm trying to maintain a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. So down below we have heat exchanges. And as you can see here, this obviously is not 30 degrees. So these exchangers are, are balancing the temperature and uh, uh, no, I am not organized. When, the, when these higher temperatures get over here and start raising this temperature, when this gets above 30 degrees Celsius, this digital valve will open up and use these um, radiators, convection radiators, and it will lower the temperature. So this is my trigger right here. This is my trigger to keep these at 30 degrees. Why? Well, it seems like 30 degrees Celsius is the best temperature for a greenhouse. And then once once these get out of temperature and I'm not doing any smelting, then that's when we come back here. And these are my usable gases. So we have nitrogen, we have our fuel, and that's my mixer. We have usable CO2 and oxygen. Uh, this is our atmosphere, which I use 
95% CO2, no, I'm sorry, 95% O2 and 5% uh, CO2, which is underground. Oh, there's a pipe. No, 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 no. Stay. It goes underground and goes into, I call this greenhouse 2.0. So we keep the temperature at 30 degrees. Uh, our pressure is at 100. And it's all controlled here with, and I just know basic chip. I don't do any MIPS. All the MIPS in here I've stolen from people. <laughs> so this is the atmosphere I was talking about. I keep it at 101, but I have four back pressure regulators, two here and two back over there. And then they're set to 99. So we, we're constantly pushing stuff around. Now, if it gets too warm, we do the same thing over here. This is the passive cooling. It does the same thing. If it gets above 30 degrees, which it does when the sun comes out, we uh, we open up and do it. Plagiarism is the is, is best form of flattery. I agree with you there, Fudder Nation. Um, and then this is because sometimes I'll fly around and I'll put nitrogen in there. I'm not too worried about it, but I have a way of filtering out anything that gets in there. Like if I use a spray can or something like that. Um, and just last Sunday, not this Sunday, but the Sunday before, Work smarter, not harder. Jeep guy. One of the smartest guys I know right there. Um, that man did automated uh, a smelting. So in here, we have some Harveys set up again with somebody's logic that it will go and pull the tomatoes. It will pull the seeds and the tomatoes. We have a sorter right there that says, hey, are you a seed? Yes, then it goes that way. If not, then it comes around and comes into the oven. And you can see we have five tomatoes, so I just cook them. Uh, I write my own MIPS as I need it, but if people were to steal my code, take it as a compliment. There you go. Yeah, no, I I, uh, I, I go to Jeep guy and go, uh, look, I need this. And he goes, uh, I'm too busy, but uh, it's a good idea. And then he does it. I can write very, very basic MIPS. I have some notes. So we cook our tomatoes and then they come over here and then we can make some tomato soup. Yeah, same here, yeah. So, um, so that is, oh. So that's how we do our smelting, our filtering and stuff like that. Um, Last Sunday, I did absolutely nothing in this game except for make frames and sheets because we're gonna to try to automate, try, um, the gas generator. So this whole area down here is dedicated to the power center. So we're going to, and I got tired of going back and forth getting stuff. Um, so the gas generator is going to be set up here to get, we'll, we'll get fuel from upstairs. The output will go into, um, probably a sterling engine, but we're gonna cool it with nitrogen. So we need all this space over here for um, nitrogen cooling, recycling, storage, and stuff like that. So that's all I did last night. So right now though, I want to experiment. Oh, and this is where the, uh -huh. this is where the heat exchangers are and all the lighting is complimented Big Ben. So this is this is the control like i said the oxygen and everything else just bounces back and forth between one another it's probably a faster way of doing it so right now i'm uh, attempting to hook up the deep miners and send it to the gas or the combustion centrifuge and before we go back over there let's clean up our mess Grab our last backpack of uh, iron. So this goes in here and this checks for ore. I don't do specific ore checks because um, the interface for sorting is a pain in the keister. So if I accidentally put cobalt in there, it's just gonna jam up the, the works. But this, the uh, I used to go from a smart sorter, a program sorter to another sorter that did the flip flop. And then they added this smart shoot or better shoot or whatever it is, powered shoot. Is that a powered shoot? No, that's a non-powered shoot. 
So instead of doing a flip-flop with a sorter, I just do it with that. And then if you're not orb, blink, it comes out. Pretty simple. Um, and these are full of, oh, volatiles. This is my hydrogen. All right, okay. Hey, the sun's out, cool. All right, so now I got some cables. Let's go get some power hooked up to uh, deep miners. Then we're gonna come back and hook up some chutes. So we already did some experimenting and it was, uh, I did it on the old centrifuge, so it took a while. And and Ben got the, um, we did an experiment on that and got it to work. But I think the big plan is to stop mining, use these guys to mine, bring the stuff into here. And I've seen online to where people have got some code for doing some stuff, for keeping it stable and stuff like that. Um, I'm just gonna do a basic run through. So we're gonna bring the dirty ore is what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna have the third miner out here too. So I'll bring the chutes up and then over. And I wanna create a, a queue. So I'll probably do some of this loop de loop stuff, come over and then connect. And then I'm gonna build a big pit here for all the output. So nothing fancy, nothing automated, just being a bunch of shoots. But again, I appreciate the raid there, uh, Zorba. And usually when I put something in place, I'll get it barely working and then I'll say, hey, Ben, look what I did. And then he'll uh, he'll get his check his, his checkbook, his checklist out and start, you know, making corrections because he's, he's like the OSHA. All right, so before we turn those things on and they start doing things, let's go figure out some shoots here. Uh, I'm going to use windowed shoots so I can see what's going on. So we'll need more. I got plenty of iron. Oh, by the way, when the iron gets smelted, it comes up here, hits a stacker, and we've got this set to 500. So uh, to get the center view started, I ping the NO2 between, really, we just use straight fuel. Oh, full throttle. Oh, I see. Oh, all right. Well, like I said, this will be an experiment. Combustion. Now nah, we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah, the new centrifuge is uh could be dangerous, I think. So we want to do up. That was weird. And one shoot. Straight fuel is fine too. It can handle four deep miners and regular fuel. Well, I got two, and the third one over there. So let's see here. So how do how do I want to do this? So we're gonna go. Um, you know, I before they added. Uh, whatever they added, when they change stuff, when you would do, when you would switch between stacks of shoots, it would always remember the last one you were on. It doesn't do that anymore. You have to keep fumbling and finding. Uh, if you got eight deep miners and one centrifuge running 50, 50 volatiles and then two. Oh, oh okay. All right. Yeah, well, we'll get into all that. Like I said, I, I've never had this many hooked up before. Oh, it remembered. Oh, huh, I wonder if they changed something in that last patch. So um, we're going to put a, no, that. Actually, if we're going to do a third one. This needs to be a, um, what do you call it? I'm at a loss for words here. Um, a junction. Might as well put it in place now. So where's the junctions at? We want to go not that way, that way. Nice. All right. See, it didn't remember. I switched between stacks. Now I have to go find the stuff again. Very inconsistent too. Um, 
This will need to be a uh, junction also. I don't have enough stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the shoots down, and then we're gonna do a little uh, up de downy of a queue. That way, you can get a lot of dirty ore. <laughs> oh, what a mess! Hey, 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 hey! All right, there you go, Mister Wrench. Ah. <sighs> Um, okay, wait, I'm making a mess. That iron, that's iron. That steel. And, uh, oh, we're getting low on copper. Oh, maybe we'll get some copper in there. Print those out. So again, the big plan is what I think is you don't know what you're getting when you dig, right? It, it starts doing what it needs to do in the centrifuge. So you send your dirty ore, it gets figured out. And then from here, I think a series of sorting should take place. And then start sending it to stackers and then to vending machines. And then that way you can take that and then send it to your smelting. The, the basic ores anyways, but uh, I digress. All right, you you go lurk. I'm just gonna play with a bunch of shoots and a miner. But what we're gonna do is we're we're learning how to do things and then we try to improve upon them. And then what I wanna do is put them in a cool building and then go to another planet. Now I understand traveling from, in a rocket to another planet is broken, but I think we can work around that. In other words, we'll pick a planet we go to, we'll decide what we can we can put into a rocket and we'll just spawn that stuff in or something like that. All right. That goes there. Grab that, put that there. All right. And Okay. So we need a junction. I had to back, back, way back. Ben and I were doing a, a moon thing. We had this idea to where we would have dedicated buildings for things. And if you had a, a power center, you know, the place that generated all the power, um, we would send everything that would go back and forth, whether it was gas or power, would all go underground. So I kind of took that idea from like, New York has all these utility tunnels. So that way on the surface, all you saw was buildings, but then we had all these conduits and stuff. So um, uh, we ran into a problem. Of course, we were using X for the cooling and we kept having issues. We were getting null refs and we we're losing uh, the X because that's what we were playing around with. So I had to actually uh, spawn in um, containers of X. Felt, felt like I was cheating. All right, so let's go window. Uh, and then let's, um, where's the corner? Yeah, the game was causing some problems. I, I felt, I felt just like, oh, well, I can always generate more X, but it was getting to be a pain in the keister. Um, bring this over. There, that should work. 
Then we'll bring it down. Yeah, I, I don't mind many games in their grind at all, but when, yeah, but when a game causes you to have to work harder, yeah. So we'll just do a little, now if I put a, oh yeah, I can do that here. No, not that. Just the, that works, cool. And then we'll do um, another up. We'll just do a short version of the queue here. So by the way, Saturday, Alex and I moved to piano. So I, I talk about the house. I call it the project site. So let's go um, down one more, then across, and then actually let's build from here to see what I want to do. Um, the piano was in the far west room and it needed to go almost to the far east room. So the third piano I've moved in my entire life. It was, well, it was, it was heavy. All right, so let's do this, that, that. Is that too tall? One, how many are we doing here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. No, that should, oh wait, it's five total. So that one, we need to, need to, uh, okay, why won't that, oh, okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm fine. Like I said, I'm just going to build a real quick and dirty little queue system. Probably doing this backwards. All right, let's go get some more shoots. Got some iron while we're here. Sorry, I'm chatting with Alex. So anyways, today after the stream, I'm gonna to go to the project site. Um, we have a room. I've got this all documented on the Discord in our do it yourself section. We took a room, a nice sized bedroom and expanded it by the, the, the house was built 50 years ago. The, um, the closet was you open a door, but you reach deep in. You had to reach deep in and, and uh, Alex said, um, let's just turn this into an alcove. In other words, add more room to the room. I said, okay. So we contracted someone to do demo, but where the walls were was just um, sub panel. So you you had hardwood, entrance was hardwood, and then the um, closet was hardwood, but we didn't have any sort of a transition. So we thought we could take some hardwood from another room that we did some demo in, but it was all glued down and was real ugly to try to manipulate. So we decided just to cut the hardwood out and put another piece of hardwood in there that doesn't match. Um, so I'm, I'm doing wood filler to fill in the small little gaps and sanding it down. And then we're gonna stain it and get it as close as possible. So that's the plan. So today I'm gonna go over and mix up some more wood filler, fill it in. Needs a day to really harden and whatnot. And then uh, Wednesday I'll go over and uh, um, sand that all down. And then uh, I have an electrical socket. So we were going to just go straight across uh, in the alcove. 
and then uh, I think we might have to do another layer, another coat of paint to finish up the alcove. The uh, the sheetrock is is an old sheetrock, and the wasn't painted, but whatever they put on it, it takes a lot of paint to cover up. So we're putting a primer over it, and that's helping a lot. There's why it takes so long to find a window. Uh, So that should, that should work. Let's, oh, I gotta get power all set up. Okay. Do, 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 do. Power. All right. So let's see, let's see what happens here. Fire that one up goes or that one up there it goes all right so we're not going to do anything until i see a bunch of dirty ore show up let's make sure i did that right so the output's going to go up here we have a junction because we're going to put another one over here so that'll send all the ore this way do a little cue a little cue and then the input oh that on for now do 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 all right, so um, we have lockers over here. I can put shoots in. I guess I can do a little work on the power center too. <clears throat> um, we're gonna have to do some. Uh, underground so the waistline needs to oh okay actually i guess we can bring the waistline and connect it to this all right that's good because it's going to be hot hey how much power do those things use Five hundred watts each okay We got that stuff. That that is maxed out. All right. Okay. Wish there was like some sort of indication that, you know, stuff was happening. Um. Oh, I did it now. I'm stressing it out. There's nothing in there. Shut it down. Shut it down. Oh, okay. Probably shouldn't have done that. There we go. We're good. Everything's fine. I'm an idiot. <sighs> oh. 
Yeah, let's see here. So we're going to take some shoots and we're going to send it, drop it down. We're going to make a big box for all this stuff. Hey, look, more iron. Well, I used the standard centrifuge last time and Ben and I, or Ben did a, a little bit of a, a test and we did some recycled stuff and it worked fine. So, oh, um, over here and get some shoots. No, we, we put, uh, so what we did is, uh, here, I'll show you. We, we put stuff in the recycler. Um, and also we used that and we had it connect a little queue system and it went there and we had dirty ore go into that one. But then is what we did is to test that one out. We disconnected this, put stuff in the recycler. So we can get reagent, took the stuff from here over there and was able to get it to process. All right, so let's hang on to that for a sec. Grab this and that. Change that to default. Gonna need some walls. walls over here I think oh oh I know where they're at they're actually down in the power center let's get that over here we go do this though oh actually hang on i'm thinking oh we got dirty ore coming in I gotta do this quicker oh wall. can i do a wall outside the frame oh, i can't all right so go
get some glass. I don't know where I got glass. There's no glass in here. Still getting used to this new jetpack, too. All right. I'm just going to drop in. Here we go. Wink. Fine. Um. Wow. We have fancy glass. Need more glass. Um, goes away. Let's fire this up. And we have this is combustion. So this is fuel or that fuel. I don't know which one is which here. Combustion. Oh, that's a throttle, and that's the combustion limiter. Hmm. No. Let it spin. Right is the fuel. All right. So let's um keep them both at ten and see what happens here. Oh, we're processing stuff. Nice. Uh oh. There we go. Dress is coming down. Looks good. All right. So I need to check the fuel line. I want to see if we've got that on a separate. No, it just comes out off of here, which I believe the valve is open. All right. And we have fuel. Oh, wait. Now we have fuel. There it goes. All right. Oh, yeah. So, RPMs are holding steady. Pressure's holding steady. Pressure's going down. I guess we're doing okay manually. So, we're at 10% throttle. Um, What happens if we bump it up a notch? Seems happy. All right. We're doing stuff. I guess the question is, okay, so Three hundred RPMs and slowly climbing. All right, 
Temperature's going up a little bit now. It's, oh, pressure jumped a little bit. Sure does process a lot faster than its little brother, that's for sure. All right, so what if we decrease that? Okay, and that made the temperature go down real fast. RPMs are still climbing. Pressure's going up a lot faster though. We're gonna experiment here. We got this at 10, we got that at 30. We're already running at almost the speed of four electric centrifuges. Ooh, you know, I'm glad you said that. How much power are we pulling? Fifty watts. Wow. Holy shnikey. That's impressive. So what do we got? We got some cobalt, some silicone, nickel, silver. All right. So again, that's good. I like that a lot. Um, Well, I'm gonna um I'm gonna stand over here. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick bio break and uh I'll be right back. That way if it blows up, maybe it won't take me out.
Mighty, I'm back. All right, how are we doing over here? I don't see a crater. Hey, BMAC, good morning to you. Space is, well, endless. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Trying out uh, some new stuff here. Huh. How come, uh, how come we're not getting any more dirty ore? That's weird. Oh, there it goes. All right, never mind. Um, so if I just pull this, oh, that's so cool. You ever seen such nimble astronauts? astronauts as you have and move around so quickly why thank you it's we've got a uh, magic boots on all right so yeah we're gonna have to put some uh some kind of sorting in place whoa yeah bowling balls <laughs> And get them polished all right so um i guess the question is how much fuel does this use oh this is the so we have okay so that's that's the fuel oh geez oh geez i broke it i broke it yeah i'm going over here i don't think it i think it just stops working is there a way to release pressure oh there's no oh okay Ooh, what's in here i'm very excited uh wrong one um all right not much not much at all oh. it's got a tailpipe oh i got you all right so i gotta basically ramp it down hindo how you doing man all right so we'll, we'll um we'll kind of come back to that let's let the dirty ore build up and see what's going on so down here with the um, the gas powered generator, um, need to do some things. Oh, I got you. All right. Well, that was my my bad. So we need to have. Um, let's see here. I need to install two windows. I don't have any glass. All right, let's go over here to auto lathe. Do we have any silicone in here? No. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I have glass on me. Never mind. I'm okay. Let's grab this glass. We're going to put up two of the windows. In case I have to get in there and do some stuff, which I know I will. All right. Um, so we're going to put two passive vents and let's try one active vent. So pipe bender. Oh, a seed tray. Interesting. All right. Vent. So we need some iron, gold, and copper. The devs originally had the barrel launch off the machine if it hit and locate the... Oh, wow. That was a little violent. Would have been a little violent. All right, so I need to take some resources down. Take that. Some silicone. We got silicone. Um, some gold. 
Hopper. Oh, I don't know what I did. I'm fine. Now yeah, we'll come. We'll, uh. All right, let's bust these up into chunks. I set to a hundred. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, so I need to make, I need some silicone. Oh wait, no, no, I need, um, well, yeah, let's put some silicone in here. I need, uh, vents. So what do we need? We need, uh, iron. Got it. We need gold. Got it. And then we need some copper. Uh, got it. So let's put resources in these machines. Rest locker. Oops. All right, silicone, silicone. Rest locker. Gold. Locker. Oh, hey, there's some gold already. And uh, all right, so we need two of these. No, one of these. And we're going to put the active vent. Um, hang on, let me think about this. We go down with the pipe. That would be better. Because um, we're going to use some logic to detect... So, oh, so we're going to need a sensor in here. Sensor kit. Need some iron. That's got a lot of iron. All right. Oh, we don't have a roof on this yet. Huh. Well, if I put a gas sensor... the heck is it? Oh, there it is. I guess that would fit, but what, do I want to put it on the ceiling? Save room just in case? Yeah. All right, so let's make a roof. Um, so what are we going to need? We're going to need the composite wall... And we go. We we'll need some last. I don't have any plastic. All right, do some plastic. And glass. Um, so before I put that, let's get two pass events. I'm thinking.
Um, the last time we had our input for our cold nitrogen here, we had two pass events with turbo fans, turbo pumps, but what were they pumping in? Were they pumping out? No, that was the active ends. What were we pumping in? I, I can't remember how we did this. Oh, wait, wait, it was the fuel, right? Because, right, okay, hang on. Uh, okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, that's how we... Think. All right. I mean, my I may not be entirely remembering how I did this. I don't think I still got the save either. Oh, I'm doing this from very bad memory. So this is going to go to our cooling chambers out uh, over here. This is going to be fed via a volume pump, I think. Then, now that I have pipes hooked to that, let me take the wall down. Right, okay, let's um here's some stuff out here. So that is what? Alright, fine. That's our exhaust. So that will be a brown, uninsulated line. This is going to be our fuel, which comes from over there. And this, I think we controlled it with a, a turbo pump, a turbo, yeah. What is your favorite um, waffle? Oh, I love waffles. Thank you. Uh, Wilden, Wild Allen, thanks for, so much for the follow. Appreciate that. All right. Oh, let's go up and check uh, the centrifuge. See how we're doing here. And look for some brown pipe. All right. Oh, we got, we got stacks of that stuff. So let's turn this on. Go 10% on both. Actually, 20% on that. There we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco or low sodium butter or something. I don't know. Slow it down, I guess.
All right. S simmering down. All right, cool. All right. Whew. No kaboom. No. <clears throat> no. I'm fine. Uh, we actually don't. Oh, okay. So we have this. We need to turn into brown. There we go. Well, I'm just uh, kind of doing conceptual uh, builds here on what I need to do. So I'm trying to remember. So we use some logic that when a certain amount of pressure, and I can't remember if if the sensor was up here. The only thing is, yeah. All right, so we could run wires to that. Oh, to that, and then we could bring the wires down for this. That'll work. All right. Uh, the fuel will come in here and we'll control that with a turbo pump and we'll use, well, I don't think we need anything on this. It just spits it out no matter what. Then we controlled the temperature with a normal volume pump right here. Sweet. All right. So that's how let's get some wires. Um, so wait a minute. We have to have some, uh, logic to turn that thing on and off right okay so let's um probably doing this wrong i'm, I'm probably gonna get yelled at right, let's see here so if we go there we go then we go that way sweet we go All right, I need to drill out and see what I'm doing. Holy shnikey. Now this pipe will be a recycled, so this will be nitrogen, filled with nitrogen. And so the output of this will um, go back into the cooling array. So I need to put an arrow. Do the labels work? Does anyone know if the pipe labels work? I would probably be in the pipe vendor. All right. Let's make a... I'll be right back. Let's go check on the centrifuge, see what's going on. This way. Hey, good morning, Ben. How you doing? I'm playing around with the centrifuge and uh, hooking up some pseudo... All right, sweet. Look at all this free ore we got, Ben. Ben is uh, the uh, the second part, or actually he's two thirds the team here. Look at that, we got some free ore. Yeah, and uh, we got quite the, uh oh, Ouch. we got the backlog here. And um, I'm just letting it run. I, I did stress it out once. So I'm going to see if we can't um, speed this up. So if I go 
increase. So we're running 20 and 20. RPMs aren't going up. Huh. There we go. All right, so we need, um, oh, I was gonna see if these labels work now. Oh, yeah, who needs ladders? So let me grab this label. And try it on this one first. Supposedly there is a label there. Okay. Now, wait a minute. What if I want to, okay, so I use a crowbar. All right. Uh, there it goes. Can you do an arrow like that? No. All right. Um, so if we say into input. Hey, there's red munchkin gaming guys into input all right so labels kind of work i guess you can't turn them around um nope they only face one direction fine and you are more than welcome red so we're gonna say nitrogen in, in. Put, all right. So that's the nitrogen coming in to cool that. And then this will be nitrogen out. Sweet, yeah, it'll work. So we can label this stuff. This will be fuel in, whoopy out, cool. All right, so I need, um. We don't want an insulated tank, we want a normal tank. So I need to, um, yeah. So tank, not insulated. Not that one, that one right there. We, we're gonna need two of these. Oh, we need some steel. All right, let me go get some steel. I made a bunch. Oh, I'm up here, let's see if the centrifuge is melted through on the ground. I'm doing great, Red, how the heck are you? Did you and Pink save the galaxy? All right, we're gonna see if we can get through. Whoa. Everything's holding stable. We're processing some buku ore and we've got quite the, uh, I'm gonna, we're going up to 40 here. Okay, I'm going over here now. Gotta get some steel. Oh, I might as well. Let's belly up to the bar. Get some beverage. If the galaxy was saved, it had to be mostly because of pink in spite of red. You know, I'm thinking uh, Team Pink, you know, hashtag Team Pink. You're right, digital. Hey, man. Down right next to the AC and the heater. All right, okay. All right, that was yummy. Oops. Need to, uh, what was I coming up here to get? Um, oh, tan um, steel, right. Go ahead and uh, just take this down. I made a lot of steel. I probably should make some more steel. Dude. All right, so as a marker, we have one empty slot. I wanna see if this,
Wow. It's a lot of war. I like it. Uh still got no no vice thing going on, but me, Pink, bro, and his wife did save most of the universe, though Pink was as the healer did most of the most friendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Team Pink! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Alright, let's um bust this up. A pieces here. <laughs> Alright, so right. All right, so last time, last time, time, we kept these in close proximity so they didn't have to travel that far. That's going to be the first one. That needs to be green. All right, just for giggles, we're going to move it back one frame. I need some frames. I need more than two frames. Gonna be fine. I need to go through and do some vacuuming here. do this grab this grab this make sure that's on normal we go dig up some ore here so it doesn't get in the way or distract me mainly distract me. Is that it I'm not worried about that I think that was about it. All right, sweet. That back. All right, how do I get rid of this? Hand drill. Gotcha. So as I was adding frame upon frame upon frame with sheets upon sheets upon sheets, Ben was down here making sure we had lights and that our, uh, our wireless batteries were being charged. It was being an electrician. It was being like a mason area, I guess. All right, so cool, cool, cool. Cool. All right, so, oops, Let's just throw stuff away. All right, let's think about this. So we're gonna have this hooked up we're gonna have another one too we'll have another one about here and so behind it we're gonna have a vast array of pipe that's gonna have radiators on it cooling the gas the hot nitrogen that's gonna be coming out of here 
So this pipe, um, let me think about this. I'm not going to think about that right now. <laughs> um, so let's do, let's go ahead and fill this, I guess. Um, so he brought down an insulated pipe. Do we need it to be insulated? No, because we're going to cool it. Can you put radiators on a insulated pipe? Does that do anything? You can, okay. All right. So that, I guess that's right. So if you have an uninsulated pipe exposed to any sort of temperature differential, it will. All right. Okay. I got you. And four. All right. So let's, um, what do we got down here? No, no, nope. Sorry. I want the big pumps. Turbo. Cryo tube. Oh, we need some electrum. Oh, have to go rob it from a machine. Let's go see how the centrifuge is doing. I brought down a couple of valves and pumps to isolate it. Well, I'm, I'm going to fill it. And then I want to see if I can't hook up some cooling to impact it. All right, so last time we were, oh, okay. It's working out real well. Um, there's monster. So what a chance we have some turbo pumps. All right. Can I make one up here? Oh, I can. All right. We'll just make two of these. What's up, Saturn? Oh, we're playing with the new gas combustion centrifuge and uh, I'm just hooking up some pseudo, I don't know, a pseudo range of pseudo, I don't know. I'm I'm hooking up stuff. <laughs> All right, let's, um, I didn't realize I did that. All right, so let's think about this. Uh, if we want to refill a, a chilled tank, we want to do it rapidly, quickly. So this, even though I'm going to use it to fill the tank, over there, not over there, over there is going to be a large pipe array of nitrogen that would come from a heated source that would get cooled and then pumped into here. Um, we, we're gonna have two of these cooling tanks and we we'll have two separate arrays. And then I guess the hot stuff should actually go to a larger tank. Yeah, I think, hang on, thinking about this. So if we send the hot nitrogen out of here via an active vent, I'm just thinking it's gonna go underground to a big, big tank. Yes. And from that big tank, we would have volume pumps that, that bleed it out into the cooling array. Now, eventually we won't have to be adding any nitrogen. So, okay. So this is going to come from the cooling array and then into there. All right. So I don't need this one. So right now I just want to fill that tank. Oh, wait a minute. 
That's not insulated. No, that's not. That's an uninsulated tank. Uh, better. Um. Oh, I just realized something. All right. I'm going to get all the way through this and forget totally, totally going to forget. So that, that line that's coming from our nitrogen source, eventually we won't, we won't need it, but temporarily we do. So uh, I'm just going to... I'm assuming this is connected somewhere. Yep. All right. Um, and this is just a, a temporary line. Probably dump it into the cooling array instead of this. That, but we have to. How would we cool this? All right. So if it goes from the array and is connected directly, it would cool. All right, because we would we would fill this with cold nitrogen. This would be cold. Thinking. Overthinking this is what I'm doing. Yeah, so we want to, uh, I'm doing this a little bit backwards, I guess. Using these as spacers. One, two, three, four, and five. And then this is where the array will start.
So instead of putting it into the tank, we're gonna put it into the array, hook up radiators, get it cold, and then we'll dump it into there. Ooh, let's go check on the centrifuge. This is exciting. All right, so there's nothing in there. Um, so let's, let's see if anything hops in. <laughs> oh, dang it. All right. Um, This is going to be cool. As soon as we get this all all kind of set up, we won't have to do any mining. Be good to take this to the new planet. All right, so let's uh shut it all down. how much fuel is left. Oh, cool. All right. All right. Wow, we used a, a mega parcel of fuel. And mix some more. How much nitrogen do we have? 21.5 megapascals. Almost 21.6. Has anyone started watching that new series on Peacock called Mrs. Davis? It's about the Templars looking for the Holy Grail and there's an AI that's trying to uh, interfere somehow. Oh yeah, there's a TV show about AI already. All right, got time, let's go over here. Oh, it's stressed out. Oh, it's okay. TV show about AI. Did you not see the person of interest? Oh, no, I never saw that. I never watched that series. No. Lots of people think AI is going to do all this stuff, but I think it's, yeah, it is. You're right. You're, you're exactly right there, Alan. Uh, it's going to be very cool at first with all these AI things to do stuff, but then it's going to cause some serious problems. And then it'll get fixed and then it's going to be it's going to be like nfts you know i mean you know yeah it's called mrs davis def d-a-v-i-s davis then we're all doomed i think i think it can do neat things i agree but in the end it'll be programmed by a human to run through functions and codes. And, you know, it was interesting. I, I saw some articles. So, okay, first use AI to create some cool art, give it a nice description. That's cool. Um, use it to write some uh, code. I saw it write HTML and um, Python. That was cool. And then, um, there was uh, another one that did a script 
for a, a TV episode, I think, or a monologue or something like that. So yeah, it's branching out, that's for sure. We're just waiting for this thing to slow down. Well, I see that somewhat differently. If you ask me, NFTs are just scams. They are. AI is a real thing. AI is a real thing, but it is, like I said, like like um, like Waldman said, it, it's it's human controlled. You know, it wrote a MIPS script for my filter. Really? Wow. So it knows MIPS. Wow. Cool. Uh. It's not going very fast. If, if I try to uh, pull the plug now, is that going to stress out? Nope. Oh, oh, look at all the free ore. That is so cool. I guess it's all about knowing the right questions to ask with the right terminology. Buzzwords. Close that up. All right, let's let that build up again. I guess if we hook up the third one. Yeah, buzzwords, context. Yes, you're right. Um, I mean, you know, the first thing is someone's gonna find a way. I read an article where someone said that they used chat GPT to find them free money. And actually that was a clickbait. It was unclaimed money in the state of California. So, um, the thing about it is then you can take that and say you're someone else. So what do I want? I want, uh, frames. Actually, let's not do it here. So, like I said, um, I think it's going to get people in trouble. Yeah. And you look it up, you'll find it. You'll find the article I was talking about. If we had that information, we'd just find out without using the AI. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, does it have access to financial institutions? I doubt it because you'd need some sort of encryption, but maybe, um, maybe these states have got a website that it crawls or it uses it um, to where there's a name listed with a date of birth and you can key on that, but still, why can't you do a Google search on it? I don't know. I just think it's, it's more trouble than it's worth right now. So frames doing this again. Frames. Frames. Then we're going to need Hoodman. I mean, using generative AI based on machine learning and large information models is nothing new. NASA has been doing that since 2005 to use internet interactive designs for antenna shapes to produce to, to produce designs that met their weird and wacky criteria like the emergent technology boundaries will be pushed usually too far to start with then it'll be overregulated as a response then in the middle ground will be found a leveraged platform to its fullest ethical yes hey Poodman, how you doing i you know like i said it's just it's the the new cool thing that will get abused as Poonman said. Um, and then, yeah. I mean, I, I went out there and tried and did some, uh, I did a post-apocalyptic cityscape with zombies. It was cool. Not what I wanted, but evidently my description, you know, I don't describe things very well. Just crank those out.
Wasn't there a movie with Joaquin Phoenix? Wasn't it called Her? And wasn't that an AI also, or was that just a, an elaborate computer? I never saw the movie. It was an AI? Okay. How many um, pipes fit in a frame? One, two, three, five. Okay, so it's five. For me as a developer, hey, Putty, how you doing? I was using ChatGPT to resolve something in Python. My conclusion is ChatGPT is like a glorified advanced Google search. It provided me with some code for my solution, but it still had to have the knowledge and skill. Interesting. Okay, all right. We'll just see where society takes all this AI stuff. I don't think it's nonsense. And I think it's got some very practical applications, you know, because sometimes when you're trying to learn something, a tutorial teaches you not really the, the flow you want to go. All right, so from here, um, is that lined up? That's lined up with that frame. So let's do, just trying to figure out, and we'll do, I'm actually not sure. All I know is I keep whacking my noggin on this here. You guys do me a favor. There's a link there for Poodman. Um, Hoodman, I don't know if you're streaming anymore, but, uh, go give him a follow. All right, let's see here. I think I need to put this there. There we go. Oh, geez. He hit me right in the face. I would like to see a very interactive AI to teach people stuff, whether it's coding, uh, how to write a script, a basic script, you know, um, anything, you know, how to do woodworking. So let's go um, 10. I'm moving house at the moment. Hopefully I'll be fine. All right, oh, I got you. Yeah, we're, I'm actually, uh, I created a do it yourself section over in uh, Discord um, two years ago, almost three years ago. Um, Alex and I bought a house and it's a house that she actually grew up in kind of. She was raised in it pretty much. It's her grandma and grandpa's house. So I want to do one, two, three, four, um, oops, I turned off my grill. 
We're getting almost all the big stuff is almost done. We have some flooring, a bathroom to uh, be installed. Um, kitchen countertops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the electrical and plumbing has been swapped out, upgraded. I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, there's two more. One. And two. All right, cool. That's true. Sometimes the media just finds other websites that have stuff. And they don't really know the full meaning of what they're reporting. You know, I was, I was talking to Alex the other day that I was, I was at the grocery store. Uh, it's typically more grounded. Okay. Um, oh, and, um, I was telling her that I go, I'm, I'm, I really weep for the future because of, uh, I went to the grocery store. My purchase came to something and 94 cents or 90, uh, and, uh, and 96 cents was my change. It was 14.96. So I went to give the clerk four pennies and she didn't know she free, not free. She, she just went, um, why are you giving me this? I go, so I can get, you know, I don't have to have all this change. She goes, um, I don't know if I can do that. Come on. What? She goes, the cash register. So it's she, she, yeah. You don't have pennies there anymore. Oh, well, we still do pennies. So, yeah. I was um, a little scared. All right, so this is gonna be one cooling array. Is that the barber? Oh, I just happened to have some cash in my wallet and used it. Doing this house renovation, you know, we're kind of watching, watching our finance a little bit more than usual. All right, so now got this open that up and put that there swap to that do still it's basic math in my book you know Wait, Poopin, you go to a barber? I cut my own hair. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's true, I do. It's a, it's a streamline. It's because the, they only use plastic cards at the time. I'm trying to get my kids to make sure they always pay with things with cash. But we buy a sausage roll and I give them five pounds and get them to work out the change. Oh, nice, way to go. Only once every now and then. I have stylish cut like you. <laughs> I call it an effort-free, a maintenance-free hairdo. Now I will admit, I do get the assistance from Alex because in the back, I don't want some sort of weird pattern or want to be, uh oh, want to be Mohawk. I just, I did something wrong. Yes, low maintenance. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see here. We want to switch this to default. Uh -huh. See that? I did that one twice. Hey! Oh, my bad. Come here. Thank you. That the only one I did twice? Yes. All right. All right. So, um, oh, geez. There's going to be a lot of pipe waiting for me topside. I'm afraid to look. Uh, all right, well, that, that's not bad. Unless, uh, all right. Lunchtime. Sweet. You have a good lunch, Red. Thanks for popping in. All right, let's see what we got going on over here. We have got lots of dirty ore. And let's go ahead and fire this up. So we do um, 20, 20 to start. And then, um, is that just because we ran out of stuff? Yeah, we ran out of steel. All right. Sorry, I guess I better go have some lunch then. It's your fault, Andy, being entertaining. I, I'm sorry. Oh, you're gonna go play some Factorio. Sorry. Yeah, I try to, I, I, I got my agenda in my head for today, what I have to do over at the project site. And then we were talking about AI, hairdos, lunch, I'm about to blow a gasket here. I got too much stuff going on in my little brain. But I get the point. Because you know what? Alex says that all the way. She goes, why don't you read all my whole my whole text? I don't know. Isn't it important enough? Yes. No, I don't know. All right, how are we doing over here? Oh. All right, stress is going down. Cool. All right, let's crank this up. Wait. <laughs> Thanks, Red. All right, so. We're going to just, uh, um, right. stuff around Thank you. 
you know, if I make this a, a pretty big, because my other ones, I, I don't, I don't think they were going to be as big as this. So maybe if I have a large enough cooling array with the correct logic, I could recycle between an exterior tank as hot and the cooling array connected this to the tank to cool the tank too. Uh, and then once that tank is being used, if we put some checks in place saying, um, oh no, no, that's right. Because last time I did a staging, I had, this tank was the only one that fed, uh, to the, um, uh, to the, uh, gas generator. Then when this one got low, we had the second one that would empty into it. And this one was cooled by the array. That's how I did it. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but it worked. Where the heck is Squirrel? Oh, Squirrel! Gotcha. All right, so now let's, um... Uh, that way. Oh. Actually, it would be better if I just did a straight, wouldn't it? Nope. Now a straight. You. Sorry. Like people making mistakes with cap locks. Sorry. I know. Okay. All right. So there is a cooling array. And what we'll do is we'll fill it. We're going to connect there, swing around and connect that way. All right. Yeah. A lot, lot of wasted pipe here. All right. Let's go see how free ore is doing. bit off more than we can chew here let's see here um last time we had what 600 rpms no 6,000 man that process is so fast though Oof. nice all right so we need to uh Buckle up on some steel, which I just made some, didn't I? Oh, all right, hang on, let's do this. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> ah, okay. Is there another one set up for 100? That's 200. Oh, let's do that one. coffee cup there's a coffee cup on the ground it's a crime in Ben's book so it uses um oh one one oh, okay well let's go ahead and make some more uh steel I mean, chunks of 100 I do. All right, let's do that. That. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Oh, I left that mixer on. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. That's bad. That's bad. Oh. Whoa. I thought I was going to have a blown up pipe somewhere. I'm, I'm taking, I ran out of hydrogen or something. Pretty close. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. So 
That could have been very horrible. You're right. All right. I got too much going on in my head here. So first of all, we need more steel. That's been turned off. Big boom. You're right. Let's uh, let's get some more uh, steel. And that is okay. Good. Go over here and get some coal. I do have, um, I'm going to run another dangerous experiment because I've never done it before and I'd like to see what happens. So we have melted oxide in here. We've smelted. We did the nitrate in here. Uh, I'm going to do hydrogen in there and see what happens. I think I got lucky because we're using fuel constantly over here. Man, that's awesome. <sighs> All right, so that looks good. Go and put stop on that. Let's fire this up. All right, so let's check on the sun status. All right. Plenty of time. All right. Let's put in one chunk and see what happens here. Actually, I guess what I need to be careful of is this. There's 4% oxygen. Yeah, okay. So if I do that, I need to drain all these pipes. All right, all right, I, I see what I need to do. All right, let's uh put that there. I don't want an oxygen and hydrogen mixing and boom into my pipes. That would be bad, very, very bad. Speaking of bad, how, how are the pipes going? Hmm. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to need. Just to transfer some uh, nitrogen. Yeah, let's try to push this. We're going to go up to 60% throttle. Wow, look at it just burn through that stuff. Also probably burning through the fuel. Okay, we got steel. Okay, let's close that off. Get that out of there. All right. So let's go ahead and siphon that out. Well, actually, you know what? Should be able to put the hydrogen in the furnace here. Let's see what happens. Uh, that, that was no problem there. I mean, as long as I don't hit, hit the activate button, I don't think I'm going to have an issue. Sure, the pressure's going up. I, I can keep track of that. All right, yeah, let's... Uh... However, you know what? I, I think the, the safest way is to use... 
I guess a dedicated ice crusher for each of the gases. Won't that burn up most of it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> now that, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So we should have a ton of hydrogen in here. Yeah. Because I did that big gas mixture, I, I've almost got... No, I don't want to press the button. No, I will not do that. I don't care what you guys pay me. I will not do it. If the price is right. I'm kidding. It's officially a dare. No, 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 no. I don't want to kill Ben. No, 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 no. I appreciate it, Flanagan. Hey, Flanagan, how the heck are you doing, man? Flanagan, you still uh, streaming? It's going good. It's going real good. Guys, do me a favor. Go give Mr. Flanagan there a follow. We need to do this before the sun comes out, though. All right. Uh, how much we got there? All right. I think... I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, scratch my noggin. Keep the follows for deserving people. I don't stream no more. Oh, all right. I thought you did. Sorry. Oh, we got pre oh, I'm kicking stuff. All right, let's dump that. Pick this up. Put it over here. I'm just kicking some steel around. Okay, when's the sun coming up? I don't want to do this when the sun is out. I think it's about to pop around the corner. Uh, yep. I think. Uh, ah. All right, we're pushing the envelope here. How hot is that? That's fine. Let's do that. Sweet. Turn that off. Oh, the sun's out. Oh, well. All right. Um... See what we got going on here. Go ahead and dump this. All right, let's go check on the centrifuge. Then we'll go down and uh, I would like to try to get some nitrogen into said cooling. I stared in light, Ray. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. 70. Now, what if we add a little more fuel? I didn't really increase the RPMs that well. It's going up.
Yeah, I'm worried about the pressure and temperature. the whole thing green boom all right um so we're going to This is that's the direction it's going so we want to stop there we're going to come this way huh yeah this will work the last time i did this i did it the slow methodical way i was bringing portable tanks over and have been dumping it that way. All right. Um, actually, temporarily, what we're going to do here is move this over here. matter yeah no no it won't all right no dazzy north lights displays oz and skies yep i got a text here from alex's father to uh check out a video so that that connects that then good old northern lights I missed. So now nitrogen should flow be flowing all the way up there and we're going to do a quick and easy oh geez quick and easy power that's the power right okay so we're going to do power connection just right over here Not enough cable. <clears throat> All right. So let's check and see. So we should have nitrogen here. A lot of nitrogen. OK, 
Okay, with a high temperature, that's okay. Should be no hydrogen here. All right, so now if we set this to, um, say 300. And we um, turn it on. That's good enough. So now, um, now we have nitrogen here. That's good. At least it should be. Yep. Nice. All right. So I want to bring uh, radiators and it should start cooling. We want it so cold. Oh wait, I actually have radiators already up here. And so just to make sure the kind of radiators we want to use should be the new looking ones. That should be, yeah, we'll, we'll make sure. All right, whoa, look at that thing go. It's getting there. So what kind of, of reaction are we looking for? If I'm trying to use vacuum, so I'm thinking it's convection and not radiated. So that's convection and that's radiator. So, huh, so am I using the wrong one then? Top side already. So if we put this one here and we put this one there. Should be able to get a read off them, right? Which one's doing more? Um, so that one's doing 240.8 joules. Okay. That one's doing kilojoules. So that's doing better. So we want that one. I have the right one. Yeah, I was doing the right one. Ready for team. Yay. Um, then we do this. All right. Now we should see a difference in temperature. That's dropping. That's not. Oh, wait, it is. Why is that dropping in temperature? Huh, that's weird. Oh, it, because that's hooked up to the uh, heat exchange. That's right. Okay. All right. Got it. Of course it is. All right. Never mind. I'm an idiot. All right. That was pretty darn successful. Um, we're going to start cranking out some radiators here. That would be not that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I got a question. Should I be using medium radiators hooked up or wasting with these pipe radiators? Interesting. I, I, I want to try using medium radiators. Let's get, um, uh-oh, we're stuck. Because that's going to go through a lot of uh, steel and gold. So if I do, I'm going to do an arbitrary number. Let's say we do, um, and we want this to be very cold. Mediums are 100 times better. Sweet. Um, but they have a, they have a, um, you can't get them buddied up to each other, can you? No. So let's try to use in four. Let's go get four of them. Uh, 
I keep forgetting of all the new stuff they added in the game. I'm still going old school. Except for this thing rocks. Oh, it's almost all the way caught up. Sweet. Look how fast it goes. No, no. Pretty much gas is gone. Ah, that could be the caveat. Yes, it could. All right, let me go over here and check. Gas tank. Okay. You can stack medium rads on top of each other. Oh, you mean, oh, okay. All right, cool. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. All right, so um, that's emptied. Good. How are we doing here? It's only a tiny bit of gas. So that's not much there. That's pretty warm in there. That's got all the volatiles in there. All right, so let's see. So right now, it looks like... What is warm in here? I'm thinking the volatiles was the warmest gas. Yeah, 44.5 is the temperature. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna head and uh, I'm gonna let this run its course and let it do its thing. Uh, medium radiators. I want to get four. Now I'm using actually for the cooling array here. We're using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We use eight. Hopefully, I can make enough. Cause it uses um. Oh, invar. <gasps> Might have to steal some invar. Got invar in there. They want that. Okay, what else got invar? You got one hundred invar. Hmm. Um. I'm going to take it out of here. Oh, for crying out loud. Everything's rolling away. Wait, how do I stop it? Uh, like that. Put it there. Wink. Oh, I got something in my hand already. Hmm. I get seven. All right, fine. Whatever. Whatever. Tell you what, that invar I almost blew up my furnace twice. and check the centrifuge I'm assuming oh yeah look at that 302 iron that's awesome So, 
still going up in pressure. Why? Oh, 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 it's the, um, the exhaust, right? The exhaust from the, all right. I'm going to do this. There we go. A lot of warm gases. Hydrogen's a little warm. All right. We're just going to let the system do what it needs to do, 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 do. And those things take forever. All right, let's turn these off. Wasting power. So we want that. That'll work. Oh, wait, I need steel builder. You know, it'd be kind of cool. Uh, first of all, they have a flow direction. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, all right. Maybe I should have. Oh, darn it. All right. So I'm assuming this. I didn't know that. I did loop them and then I was told you don't have to loop them. So I'm, you know, yeah, yeah, I'll be on it. Um, wrench, maybe? Oh, well, I, I did say wrench. I just grabbed the wrong thing. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right. All right. You know, I, I am going to loop. I like, well, I don't know. Let's, uh, I'm going to do it this way. But I really think, oh, geez, I did the wrong one. Um, I think eight's going to be more than adequate. If not, then I'll just keep taking them off that way. Oh, wait a minute. While I'm here, let's, uh, let's hook them up. So there, there. Then let's do some Welding again. All 
right, let's uh, check real quick too. See how it's doing. 27, wow, look how fast that's going. That is so cool. And that's 46 and should be going down, but very slowly compared to, oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, that's very cool. can pop over real quick and check the centrifuge. Look at all that stuff down there. All right, be back. I gotta go check on something. Cool. I need three more for down there. Hey, Maniac, how the heck are you doing? All right, so let's do this, that, that. Um, oh, we can do that. Oh, come here. Um, I'm good. Uh, getting a little little infrastructure in place down here. Where I'm setting up the uh, one of the cooling arrays for the nitrogen that we'll use to keep the gas generator cool. Won't be today, though. It always takes time to build up that infrastructure, doesn't it? it always takes time. So I just, I just remembered as I was setting this up old school that we have new radiators. And uh, Priest there was uh, lending me some advice. So now, look at this. 14 degrees, and when it, when it got here, it was, it was well into 50 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's gonna be so nice. What we'll do is once everything's connected, we're gonna have two of these. This one will be connected to the gas generator room, and that's what we'll inject into uh, the, the chamber there to keep the generator cool. And it'll have to be a constant flow. One, it'll take a lot of tweaking. Once this gets low, there'll be another tank over here that will replenish that one. And um, the the cooling arrays are what's going to keep all the gases nice and cool. Probably doing this backwards though, but you know I'm doing stuff. That's what's important. So we'll have a fuel line connected to a fuel source. Probably going to have a local fuel source here. This will come in and keep it cool. This is a uh, it's going to be logic controlled to keep the pressure. And this will probably go underground and go back to um, a larger tank. And then that will feed into um, the, the other array that feeds into that one. I think if that's how it was, I don't think I can find the original. It was a lot of fun doing it because it was like a lot of moving parts and you know, you get one thing to work. It wasn't quite good enough. You, you know, maximize it increase upon it and stuff it was like really cool all right so now 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 let's do this um 
Yes, yeah, that's what I use for fuel, yep. And then it has a tailpipe too. It, ha it, it produces very hot CO2 and X and stuff like that. And what we did before is we took that very hot output and sent it to a Stirling engine and generated a little bit of power from that. And the output from that we just recycled. Um, what did I want to do here? So I do have, let's go get a um, couple of backpacks here. We're going to have a little fun. So this should be empty, right? That's empty. All right, so let's put this over here. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah that's fine. Oh, that back. Let's get out that. Put that there. I guess actually, um, I can stay. We're going to swap out that. We get another one in our hand. Make sure this is set for flatten. That is so cool. Look at all that ore. Man, that saves a ton of time. Oh my God. Oh, wait a minute. Eh. Oh, I'm stuck. This is gonna be fun. Hang on. <laughs> I don't have my jetpack backpack with me. Um. There we go. Whoa. I'm free. <laughs> All right, we'll have to put some stairs down there. So now, um, let's do this. Let's uh, open up both of these and just grab the irons. I want to do that I'm trying to get it to, to drag down here So, um, going to do offer. So this can't get be smelted. This can't be smelted or that. works out Man, that is that is so awesome Escape. Um, then let's go ahead and send the uh, golds, silver. Uh, it's gonna work. It's just gonna be messy to clean up. I don't care. That's awesome.
I need to work on some real life stuff. We'll be lurking. All right. That is a cool addition to the game. What is your favorite waffle? Hey, baby Jesus, how you doing? My favorite waffle is a nice warm waffle with some butter and some syrup. All right, now where'd I put my backpack? There it is. Woo. I guess we put a ladder. All right, so um, got a little bit more progress done. Oh, wait, I was going to check. Yeah. So the source of the nitrogen is 42 degrees Celsius. And what we're going to... Oh, look at that. That's what I was looking for. Nice. Oh, man. It's nice to know that I can get a basic understanding of some of this game physics. All right. All right. All right, guys. Um, I think I will not be streaming tomorrow because I, I think I'll be visiting uh, somebody, meeting with someone over at the house to do some flooring. So I will be there for most of the day. So we're going to leave this here. And let's all go say goodbye to uh, Ben because he's been stuck in here doing inventory. Hey, Ben. Hi, right, guys. Let's go and roll some credits here real quick. Uh, baby Jesus, Brian, Wild, Alan, thanks a lot. And uh, Commander Razor, uh, Razor Bundundi, thank you so much. Thanks for the term. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> all right, guys, Saturday, we'll see you guys later. You guys have a good one, all right? I'm out of here.